Pure in English. English. Okay. English. English. <laughs> okay. So the whole situation is, according to Gamro's constitution, there are subcommittees, and these committees are committees of the board. So according to Gamro's constitution, uh, 90 days before the expiration of any board, a committee that is called election committee must be set. Within 90 days, this election committee must organize the election so that the incumbent board can hand over to the incoming board. So during my first tenure as a chairman with my team, 150 days before our term came, came um, to, 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 to an end, we formed the election committee. And we gave them all they needed to do the election. But what it was is they had a different agenda. First, they did not consider themselves as a creation of the board. So as soon as we outdoor them, they said they were going to respond to the board. They came with their own um, budget. They wanted 350,000 Ghana cities. They wanted to rent office, buy computers, buy cars, to be able to organize a simple election for Gamro. And then we said, no, you are a creation of the board. Everything you do, the administration will take care of their um, um, logistics and whatever. You are not to organize the election. The election, Gamro's election, are always being done by the Electoral Commission of Ghana. So you are to just do the internal stuff with the administration. They did not agree. So after 150 days, in fact, a week before our term came to close, we handed over the organization to the administration. And we realized that these people did not meant to organize the election. They had an agenda. And with Gamro's constitution, if 30 members call for emergency meeting, the administration must adhere to that. And on record, we, have, we had 300 members around the country requesting for immediate emergency meeting because there was a vacuum. So this meeting was held in Kumase. Um, that we call it an emergency meeting. So when we went, the AGM asked the elect election committee. At that time, we, we, all of us, we went like ordinary members. We went to sit in the crowd. Administration came just like they came. And then the AGM requested the election committee to come and explain to them why after 150 days they have not been able to organize the election. So they themselves, they went there, sat in front of the people without even a document. They just used their mouth saying that, uh, yes, they wanted, they requested for 350000 and this and this and that. And Gamro didn't give them the money and they needed this, they needed that. So the AGM said, no, 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 no then you are not qualified to organize the election, so you are disbanded, you are dismantled. End of story. It is then that after they were dissolved, that the AGM said they are appointing five people to hold on, and they gave us 40 days to organize the election. Or organize the election, uh, hold on until the election is being done so that we can move on. So they selected us, and we took over. We wanted to do the election within 30 days. But as we were just about to do the election, this old election committee brought an injunction to stop the election because they still think that even after the highest decision-making body of Gamro has dissolved them, they still don't accept it. So they wanted to stop the election. So they took it to court and it took Gamro one year for the court to throw away their case, that they, it has no merit. So when the court threw it away, it, the court gave us the right to go ahead and do the election. So the new election committee was formed, and after they've done everything, as the CEO said, at that time, I was just an ordinary GAMRO member. I was not part of the election committee. The power was in the hands of the election committee and the administration. So a day before the election, I heard in the air that they say the people have gone to file an appeal. But I asked, no evidence, no evidence of that. I just heard it as rumor. So we went ahead, we did the election. 
in 10 regions. Those who won, won. Thankfully, I was part of those who won. Electoral Commission issued us individually our certificates and everything, and it's all there. According to Gamro's constitution, the seven board members will be elected, and the board members themselves will elect their own chairman. So after the seven board members were elected, we went for a board election, and the members of Gamro board elected me as the chairman and elected Mr. Omari Ajapaye as the vice chairman. So it's only on the 19th in the morning that the CEO called me and said, court has set your board aside because according to court, um, the old election committee served your lawyers a day before whatever and you shouldn't have gone for the election. So God has uh, annulled your board. As for me, my interest is Gamro. So I don't care whether I'm a board chairman or a messenger. The most important thing is for Gamro to work. So we are, that is why we're here, to follow the processes to make sure that Gamro that we've spent all this time to build will not go down the drain. Thank you very much.